Good morning everybody, it's Monday. I'm at work really, but Jennifer mm. wanted to say hello, didn't you? Hello, where are you? Say hello. Mm. So good morning so far. I received this duty uh, book, which I got off of eBay for a couple of quid, which I haven't got in my collection. And this arrived. So by the time you've seen this, you'll have seen a flip through. It will have gone up and go up today. Um, I'm being strangled. I better get back to work if she'll let me. Can I get back to work now? No back. No back? Nah, she don't want me working. I don't want to work either, honest. I do It's a thing. Anyway, we're going out later after I film my flip through, darling. So I'll see you later. So I've finished work now and I've just filmed a quick flip through this. I'm going to go and get that editing while I have some lunch. And then I'm going to, I'm going to read that while I'm having my lunch. And then I'm going to get Jennifer sorted and take her down to my mum and dad's for a walk to give her some exercise. So hopefully she doesn't wake up. And then when I come home this afternoon, I have got an order to pull and I've got a lot of eBay to do, but I've got to tidy up this bedroom. This spare room is a right tip at the moment and it needs sorting. So yes so i'm gonna do that so i'm gonna go and get some lunch i'll see you monday afternoon back home time for tea mince and pasta today washing scots online get that down later look at that gorgeous blue sky <laughs> what's that darling <laughs> cheese yes you've got cheese haven't you no, no, she no, likes no. cheese on her pasta just like daddy morning it is now tuesday i did mean to wrap up last night's part of the vlog but i ran upstairs and left the camera downstairs even though i'd got it ready and then i came back down to do something and thought i'll take it up now and i still forgot it so that's why i didn't get wrapped up anyway it's tuesday morning plans for today work obviously um get some ebay stuff ready I, I did some measuring last night and i've got it here i'm just going to put it into my drafts later when i finish work play with jennifer obviously um color might take jennifer for a walk later but we won't go down my mams today and let's just see what the day brings i'm a bit tired today try not to yawn watching a channel called blast mysteries it's very interesting and um, that's it i'm gonna get uh, ready to start work it's it's not eight o'clock yet it's uh, coming up to five two so i'm just gonna go poodle on on and uh, start work i'll see you afterwards finished work and jennifer wants to go to see nanny and granddad we weren't going to go today but uh, she was saying about work and she said walk walk I said, do you want, oh, yeah, we can go for a walk later if you want to. And she goes, Daddy Nanny, because she can't say Granddad. She used to say Gandad, but now she just says Daddy Nanny or Daddy Daddy. <laughs> so I said, I'll have to ring Nana and see if it's okay, because they're not expecting you. And they said it was all right, so we're, we're going for a walk down to Nana and Granddad's now. Can we, baby? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's you, look. <laughs> so we'll go there, so I'll see you in a bit. Grandad and Jennifer are reading Maisie books, aren't you? They've got a watch. They've got a watch. Yeah, and there's a watch there, isn't there? You can't do that, it's a bit hard, isn't it? Where are the frogs? Where are the frogs, baby? No. She likes looking at one of the neighbours' gardens because they have lots of little ornaments and she loves them. What are you doing, Jen? <laughs> the bike coming. Where did the bike go? Where are you going, Daddy? Where are you going? No, thanks. <laughs> oh. No, Is Waffle coming? Playing with Granddad's hat. Yeah, yeah. yeah show mummy. Show mummy. Where are mummy? Yeah, yeah, dad. Yeah, you're wearing a hat like yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah, hat. Oh, papa. Here we go. How many? The mummy. Is that? 
What's that one again? Let's have a look. Who's mummy? Me. Me. Oh, there you go. I like the dog. Like granddad's hat, do you? No. 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 Oh, you're so cute. So it is supposed to be really nice and hot on the weekend. So in case it's too hot to go out, we're getting a paddling pool ready. And we're just putting a bit of air in it. We've cleaned it out. Won't be a second. Pumping it up a bit. Paul had it on the wrong way around, which is why it was going down. But now it's going up. That looks better already. We won't be filling it up tonight because probably do it Thursday. And I got family chlorine tablets for it as well. Hi everyone, it's now Tuesday evening. I've just had a shower, as you can tell. I'm up in the bedroom. I'm going to film a couple of videos, or I'm going to film one full video, which is my current chat for Wednesday, uh, which you've already seen if you watch those. And I'm going to do some of the castle arts video. Well, I'm going to start part two of the castle arts video. And I also got some new pens in today, so I'm going to start a video using those as well. Um, I didn't get any eBay done because my internet went down on the laptop. It does this every now and again, it crashes out, and I have to reset it. And it was getting late, and I wanted a shower, and I thought, bye put the computer back on now and then do that it's going to be like 11 o'clock before i get upstairs to film so i thought i'm just gonna leave ebay i'll do it first thing when i get up in the morning because i'm not being put and washing out so i'll have my breakfast i'll put ebay on and i'll get my five listings up tomorrow we'll be photographing uh evening when i uh come up so today's a filming coloring video filming thing tomorrow will be photographing so two more bulk uh two more loads of items come in another 20 items of clothing come in um i'm waiting for uh, my dividend check to come from my work shares for the shares of my work company i've usually had it by now i can only think it must have been delayed because of the pandemic so i'm hoping it'll come soon because then i'll go to newport to the bank because paul's got a check to pay in pay the checks in uh, and then maybe pop to the charity shop I usually go to and see if there's anything worth picking up. Usually um, things in there are a pound. So as long as it's not stuff like Primark or Peacocks, I'll pick it up. And some of the supermarket stuff I won't touch unless it's something really nice. Um, but I will pick up some of the higher high-end brands, like, like high street brands. So for instance, River Island I'll pick up. Next I'll pick up... Um, you look if it's something really nice, top shop and, and so on and have a look through all their dresses and tops, all, all different sizes, don't bother me what size, I just pick them up these days. Sometimes you get lucky, I have bought Jacques Feu from there before now, I remember one from one of the shops I got two LK Bennett dresses for a pound, I mean come on. Anyway, that's it for tonight, tomorrow's Wednesday, tomorrow we're going to go and look at Jennifer's nursery, the new one that's opening next month, where she'll be going, so we're going to do that tomorrow, so I won't show you the building, but I'll take you down there, it's not far from the St John's, where we always used to go to the jumble sale, um, it's not far away, but it is by the school, so, which obviously is closed because it's holidays, so that's going to be it for now, I'm watching some videos at the same time, and I'll pause those while I'm actually doing my filming, but I will see you in the morning. Morning, it's Wednesday, peak of the week. Happy hump day. Yeah, I'm just getting ready to start work. Watching some YouTube. This one's called Origins Explained. So something else I've just found that's interesting. Watching that. Um, going to see the nursery later. Jennifer's still in bed. I think she woke up earlier, but I think she's gone back to sleep for a bit, which is great. Um, yeah, just going to crack on and get the day done, really. And see you later we'll go out for a walk it's very gray out isn't it paul 
So we've got our coats because we've got to go and look at the new nursery now. So Jennifer doesn't want her coat on, so we're going to take it with us and we'll put it on if she if it rains, if she'll let us. So we're going to go and have a quick look at that, see what it's like, hey baby. And then if it's not raining, you can go in the park again. She's already been down there once today. Hey everyone, it's Thursday afternoon and I haven't vlogged today and I didn't wrap up yesterday. And the reason was I couldn't find the camera it had fallen on the floor and it had made its way under the bed so i've just got back from my mum's it's so hot it's very muggy outside it's very close and hot humid and cloudy and wet it's just it's horrible anyway this arrived yesterday and i'm i'm just about halfway through i love this series book five this is so looking forward to it i can't wait to read a bit more I do like it like this but searching for rare records of excuse me getting killed in the process yeah so you'll see this in my monthly wrap-up when I do it at the end of August I would imagine because it's not gonna take me long to finish it off so yeah I've got do some eBay got three to pull I'll do that a bit later on after tea and then I've got some to list I've got a few to photograph I should have some new ones come in clothing in the next day or so hopefully I'll get that sorted soon at least I hope so that's it there's not a lot happening today it's just too hot and muggy to do much it's supposed to be very nice tomorrow hot but nice which isn't as bad I mean going to sit in the paddling pool oh yes that'll be nice anyway I might see you a bit later on it's Thursday night it's not much past eight, I don't think. I don't know, I have to have a look. Yeah, it's just gone ten past eight. I've put Jennifer to bed. And to be honest, I'm in bed as well. I've got a stinking sinusitis headache, migraine. It starts here, all around here, both sides, up over the top. I'm right down the back to the base of my skull. It's not the worst one I've had. The worst one literally floored me. Well, almost literally floored me. The worst one I ever had. Um, literally, it was felt like being hit over the head with a hammer. I went to bed, and this was in the afternoon after work. Um, this was years ago, mind. And then when I got up, I went to the bathroom, and when I stood up from the toilet, I literally thought I was going to pass out because the pain was intense. Um, I went to the doctor's the next day. And he said, he had a look. He said, yes, you've got a mild case of sinusitis. I'll give you some antibiotics. And I thought, a mild case of antibiotics? I, a mild case of sinusitis? I never, ever want chronic sinusitis. And you think that when people, when you hear about Marilyn, just thinking about it, because obviously it's the anniversary of her death this week. On her last film, she was diagnosed with chronic sinusitis and a temperature of 101, which is not a huge temperature. But knowing what mild sinusitis feels like, and I couldn't function with mild sinusitis. If her sinusitis was that bad, it's no wonder she couldn't work. Unless you actually have suffered from it, you you just don't know how painful it is. It's, it's horrendous. And I'm lying here and my head is throbbing and it does feel like I'm being hit on the head with something. Not a hammer, but something. Um, so I'm actually in bed I've taken all my medication that I take, like for my asthma and stuff, and my nasal spray for my sinuses, allegedly, and my antihistamines to help my sinuses, allegedly. It doesn't seem to be working. Because the air pressure doesn't help. It's very heavy outside, and that always makes it worse. So I had it this morning. It, it eased off part of the day, and it's really bad again now. So I totally empathise and with Marilyn during the production, something's got to give, because she was suffering from sinus that bad. The headaches would have been so painful. People who have migraines will understand it all. Cluster headaches, it's, it's like that. It's so painful. It's unreal. And you feel, I mean, it's not that bad at the moment. Sometimes it feels like your eyes are going to pop out of your head if it's a really bad one. It's not that bad at the moment. I'm hoping that an early night is going to crack it. So I'm not, I've not got the TV on. I'm not going to look at my phone. I've got a book here if my headache eases off I might read for a little bit to help relax me but I'm thinking no even though I really want to finish The Vinyl Detective but I'm just going to turn the light off and hopefully it'll go 
and we'll be better. And it's Friday tomorrow, which is always a nice day. Got an extra pillow tonight to raise my head up a bit as well. So I'm afraid, sorry about there not being much vlogging going on today, but really have been floored with sinusitis and this pressure headache today, and it's just killing me. So, not killing me, it's not going to kill me, it just hurts. <laughs> You can't kill bad things, a friend of mine once said. And he was right. I'll see you in the morning, hopefully. The headache will have gone. Bye, guys. Hi, everyone. It's Friday evening and I've had one of those days again. I put the camera down, couldn't find it. It was in my handbag all the time, so I've done no vlogging. We went out earlier to see the Will writer. That was okay. It was bloody hot, though. And then Jennifer had a paddy on the way back because she wanted to push her push chair rather than riding it. And if we do that, it'll take, it would take us about three hours to get home. So we went there, so she screamed all the way back. Then she had some sorbet, which calmed her down. She likes a bit of that. It's nice and cool as well. And then she decided she wanted to go to the park. So Paul took her to the park, and then he got some fish and chips on the way home. Because she got up at 6am this morning. It just totally threw me for the day, and I forgot to order fish and chips. Um, so we went and got them from down the local instead. She's in bed now. She's had a couple of tantrums tonight, haven't she? Because I think she's feeling out, feeling the heat as well, and she's tired from all the walking down the road and back. She's probably walked a good few miles today. Um, paddling pool's all ready, and the water's warm and chlorinated ready for us to uh, go in it tomorrow because it's supposed to be hot again. And uh, 20 minutes, we're going to be doing a music quiz. It's the 70s, 80s, noughties, and 90s quiz. So we'll probably come about mid table. <laughs> If we're lucky. If we're lucky. we got a few beers, uh, we're just going to have a laugh and some crisps because we had like tea at like half past four. So I'll see you during the quiz. Here's the quiz. Uh, never works out well for the 70s. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Right, so in a minute I'm just going to pop on your screens. Uh, multiple choice question. What do you want to be in this week? Uh, basically, the 80s. You want to stick to the 80s? Uh, that's not, yeah. That's not the one. That's your team name. Uh, that's the one I want to. Right, yeah, choose your teams. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to be on Team 70s, you go and press A. If you want to be on Team 80s, press we B. We always press Team 80s. Press C. Or Team uh, 70s. But... Well, yeah, because we were born in the 70s. Yeah, but we like, like the 80s. Means, it? Yeah. I think it's just what decade you like the best, I guess. I know, we've got a few people going for 70s. Oh, more 10s. So, yeah, A, B, C. Excuse my pens. I'm still colouring my picture here. <laughs> I do it in the break. End of round one started off rather well, didn't it? And it went a bit downhill. And then it sort of got better and then it went downhill again. It's like the quiz of general, isn't it? Just like general. So we're waiting for the first round scores, if you remember, to put them on. Because now we've got to vote on what song we want to listen to during the um, break. And I've forgotten what it was. Break. So let's see what song you want to hear in the break so the poll's on the screen now there's going to be 10 of the 20 you've heard here you can vote now for which one mm. which songs you want to hear in the break i'll put about three or four in the playlist uh yeah oh the joker oh. if you want to start voting now there it is there we are that's it so you get to vote for which one you want out of the 10 so he looked tired and sweaty. It's very hot. I'm gonna have a shower when this is finished. Just waiting for the scores and I'll let you know where we are. You only get the one vote as well. Oh, look at this. Common Eileen right up there at the moment. Mr. Blue Sky followed. I kind of I could have called this. Uh, so you've got 10 seconds left if you want to vote. Time for the scores. Here we go. Let's see how bad it is. Right, scores wise, here are your scores. It's only 31 so teams, so oh. it's not going to be brilliant, is it? <laughs> but we're not at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. 20 seconds at the moment we are, out of 31. We need to do better than that. We've got another one tomorrow as well because tomorrow it's a general norm. Yeah, not good enough. Obviously, we better do better in the next round. I'm gonna get another drink. Vote now on the next song. Well, what we want to hear in the the uh, break. Uh, no, that was the last lot. Love, come on. Number two. Here we go. Lord's Polly. Right. So there you go. You can choose from those ten if you want to have a look at those. What do you fancy? I like a bit of. I like different ones to you. No, but which one do you want? Wait, where's that one? Oh, okay. You can have that one. So we've just voted 
for North Country Boy. Do I remember who I might do a different thing next year. I might give you... A shower thing. Oh, the shower thing. Sorry. I'm not very good at music so unless it's the 50s and 60s and bit, anyway, bit of the 80s. Anyway. Just different music, which makes it good, really. We should be a lot better than we are. So tomorrow when we're outside, we're going to have our boombox out and listen to some music till the batteries run down, which won't be long because I've only got six and they're in it. So I've ordered some more, but they won't be arriving until Sunday. And then I'm going to have a look and research a rechargeable C-cell battery charger and batteries so I can get rechargeables. I'm just waiting for that and we'll have a look at the scores. Let's see how bad we're doing now. No, we're not on the bottom. 21, we got up a place. Oh. Oh, whole one place. We don't mind that though. That's okay. It's a good team, isn't it? Yeah, there is. These are like the hardcore like, fans. Everyone else has gone out to the pub. <laughs> everybody else has gone out to the pub. Oh, he's looking a bit yellow. I think um, cause it's been pointing at the screen. But uh, the yeah, it's, it's the hardcore fans today. So if you don't get it right, yes, stuff basically. Uh, yeah, but yeah. we're having a laugh, aren't we? Yeah, and a beer, Doctor, obviously. What's that done to the groups? Say hello. I genuinely think it's changed. Hello. Oh, <laughs> Too much by Luther Vandross. One more question, and we're doing horribly. It's just gone to pot. It's horrible. It's just Third we just don't know crap music. The last one, right? I suppose that's something. Now we just got to see where the schools are. My three-year-old really likes Prodigy. <laughs> this is not my up until the top ten. And Let's see how bad it was tonight. Right, so here we go, scores runs. Twenty-eighth, we came oh, out of thirty-one. Oh, <laughs> that was one of the worst ones, along with one of the movie nights, wasn't it? Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Time to have a break, I think. That's it for tonight. I will see you in the morning. It's going to be hot, so we're going to be out in the pool listening to music, I guess. So, see you then. Bye. It's Saturday, and it's a beautiful day. Welcome to my garden. I've got two loads of washing on the line. And we're going to be going in the pool. Taking the chlorine dispenser out. The pool's lovely and clean. It needs a bit more water in it. So, we'll put some more water in it in a, in a bit. Because we're on a bit of a slide, so... Jennifer's got her swimming costume on, haven't you, baby? Uh -oh. I'm just wearing shorts and a t-shirt because it's easier to change. A ton of towels, colouring books. Paul's gone to get the stereo and some CDs. I'm listening to some music. Put some sun lotion on. Wait for Daddy to bring the sun lotion out, darling. And then we're going to go in the pool. So we got Big Mac's Holy Soul Band on the stereo. Jennifer and Daddy in the pool, and I'm afraid I'm going to go and join them. So I'll see you in a bit. To the pool, Jen. Yeah. Paul, you going back in the pool? No, so what? <laughs> so it's afternoon now. We've been in the pool. We've come out. We've had lunch, and now we're going back up. But it is absolutely baking out here. It's hotter than the. the pool says hotter than Tenerife. Probably is. Yeah, it is absolutely burning hot. So we're going to get in the pool and cool down, shall we? Yeah. Come on then. Cold. Cold, yeah. Little buffet this evening out here. Little bits of food. Yeah, we're going to put your food on your plate now, Jen, all right? Okay, we're ready for quiz time. Jennifer's in bed. We're all really shattered. We're having a beer. I've got my colour in. So this is what it looks like so far. Still working on it. It's taking a while, but uh, we're going to start the quiz in a bit. And um, I'll tell you how we're doing at the end of the first round. It's our favourite quiz host tonight, isn't it? Marcus, he's our mm. favourite fella. This is him here. So yeah, we've got 80 questions tonight. There's nine mini rounds. Down there. Uh, we've grouped them into three. There we go. Balls. Queasy chicks. We're in 14. Uh, 85 oh. points. We're only just to social distance. 14 point. Put up. 14. 14. Out of 49, I think it is, and we got 69 points so far. The highest scores have got 85. So, now some of you can see on the same points. Cool. The only reason that one team is above the other is based on speed. That's good for us. 
Well, actually, that round was quite simple. We enjoyed that. These are short rounds, so after the second round, we're still at 14, which is great. We haven't gone down, we haven't gone up. We've just sort of stayed where we are, which is very unusual. Uh, well done, you currently make up the top 10. Now we've got one so it'll be fun. small round. Oh, another small round to go. Um, 10 questions in this one. The round we weren't very good on, and we've dropped to 17. So even though we got a full 10 points twice, you are currently in the top Why have you got your hand in the air? Because we're 17? Yeah. Okay. So the first question we got 10 points for was when is Record Store Day held? And what they do is they have like five or six options and you've got to choose it before they disappear and obviously the quicker you get it. Right. The more points you got. So of course it's April normally and I got that straight away and the second one was when was the Guinness Brewery founded and obviously I knew that was 1759 so we got that straight away so we did get 20 points for them but the rest of the round was a bit hodgepodge we were just getting like one point or two points here and there because they were quite hard anyway are we in a break all oh, right great I'm gonna go to the loo and get another beer then into the next round we've moved back up to 14 as you can see it's all up and down on this quiz because of the way they do it it's quite good though it's a bit of fun and it's a bit different it's just not questions pictures and multiple choice they do odd different things so it's all right sometimes i like it sometimes i don't time to go more round we're up and down like a tart stick as i can tell you we've dropped down to 21st place now could be worse but it could be better hopefully the next mini round which we're going to do now we Snapshot might get a bit better. Down to 22 after that round where you have to... They have pictures but they're disguised like and it comes up as a jigsaw or swirly or pixelated and my screen didn't work on one. The one I actually knew quite early on, it didn't, I didn't have the options, so it was really a pain but... Anyway, we have a break now. Oh, Which is a relief. We just had a music round, so that was fun. We like music round, we'll don't we, Paul? So the score good. Is round on the, this quiz. It's very good. We didn't do too bad. We got most of them right. Even if we were guessing on them. So, oh, have we dropped out of the top 20? No, 17th. We've gone up again now. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're catching them, aren't we? They're going down and we're going up a bit. No, it's just the end of the music section. There's more yet. Back again. Because you lose points if you don't get it right or you, and you don't agree or, or you don't answer and you don't give it, give the same answer as everybody else. So it's got to like, be the majority rules. So it's really horrible. We have got a couple of them, right? Right. But that's not good. I don't like it. Those at five. It's horrible. You have to predict what everybody else is going to say, so it's really difficult. And it'll be schools, and I dread to think where we are now. Right. Okay. We lost some points. Mm. See how those points have changed us ever so slightly. Won't change it massively. Uh, Blake Jedward, Gene Zero. Gone down one place to 18 now. So, could be worse. Back in a bit. Terrible last round, did very badly. It is the hard round. Uh, those of you that come in on to join us for the late, late years, please get on the board and tickets. Use the yeah, just waiting for our quizzes, the scores, to see how badly we're. NB Quizzy Bucket in K. And now get your pound off your entry, so it's only four quid. Okay, in third spot. Nathaniel Hornblower, Tell me well. I'll tell you what they are when they come up. So we came 20th with a score of 276. The highest score was 490. So we were a long way off. But it was a good laugh, wasn't it? Anyway, I've got a few things to do before I head off to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. Bye, guys. It's 2 a.m. I guess we decided it was time to get up. That's going to wreck Sunday now because she'll want to go back to bed for a couple of hours later. I won't be able to. I know, darling. It's all right. Mummy, see you. Yeah, you should be asleep in bed. Why are you awake? See what I mean? It's actually like 11 o'clock now, so it's normal time to get up. Look at it. Look at it. On the back of the sofa. She had one leg stretched out and one up like that and she was leaning on her arm like she was like posing for a pin-up. She's so cute. <laughs> Say hello to everybody, Jen. <laughs> she hasn't got a bruise on her face. She's been colouring her face in by the look of it with pen. At least I hope that's what it is, otherwise I'm really worried. All right, I've got to get her dressed so we're going to go shopping. Hello, it's Sunday afternoon. What's happened to this? Oh, um, hang on a sec. 
got a bit of a problem with this camera at the moment so I'm gonna have to try and figure it out it fell on the floor and it sort of knackered the zoom in thing so I'll sort it out later it's not too bad now um yeah it seems to be all right now Sunday afternoon uh, it's still very hot it's not as hot as it was yesterday but it's still hot as draining and we're all very dopey so we're gonna have a little rest now Jennifer's having a lie down we've put on uh, Andy's dinosaur adventures which she loves and she's lying down in her cot and we know she's tired because she did not complain about going in there so we've done all our shopping for today and stuff like that and I am now going to have a little doze and we'll go out later we will go in the pool if it's still very hot later if we feel like it but she's like bath but we'll definitely be outside later on I've got one order to pull uh, so I want to try and get that done and that's it really it's all very Sunday-ish, very chilled and relaxed today. So I'm gonna have a little lie down now and a rest because of course I had that, interrupt that uh, interrupted night's sleep and it always makes me feel a bit weird in the afternoon. So just glad we've done all the shopping really, got all that done, everything we need and a bit more. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I've got to say. Another moment, yes. I'll see you later. So it's the end of the week, Sunday night. You have to excuse the shadow at the top. The camera's actually broken the lens cap slightly, which is really annoying. So it's not that noticeable, but it might be. Um, I'll try and fix it, it's just loose. Anyway, that's it, it's Sunday night. Everybody's in bed. I'm about to go up myself. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. It's been a done off week and I'll see you later. Hopefully I can sort out this lens cap business. I'll see you soon, bye.